So I want to do a little test today. I vape a lot of you got each juice, a lot of I've been vaping that a lot through my TFE and my Cleto. My Cleto's getting the uh, cherry lemonade, 70, 30, 3% neck. The uh, TFV has been getting the Tropical Delight with the uh, 70, 30, 3% neck. So they say a lot of the artificial sweeteners and things from what, what I've read bunk up your coils. So I put a lot of juice through this, a lot of juice through my last Cleto. I did save them this time. I didn't forget. I want to rip them open. I want to see if my low wattage vaping and my cheap juice is gunking up my coils, which I don't believe it is because they seem pretty fresh throughout the life. It's just, you know, sometimes I just get worried that, you know, I don't want to get caught out there. I got a coil in there for over two weeks. I don't want to get caught out there with a bum coil, so just change it. Just out of habit. You know, keep it clean. Keep it, it keeps it fresh, and you enjoy your vape more. So we're going to rip these coils apart. Uh, I, I vape below, and just something for you guys. Uh, if you guys are running your coils at max wattage and you're not getting your desired flavors, you know, you're getting your clouds but no flavors, you might want to scale it back a little bit. I've seen in person in vape shops a lot of people do this. I vape, you know, if uh, the TFVs, like the last one, I forget the recommended range, I was below the minimum. And this tank, you can get away with it because it runs, the wattage runs so high and there's such a, a big gap that you can fit into. It's like a 60 watt gap you could fit it in. So, with the Cleto, I vape it at like 42 to 45 usually on the 40 to 61. I've never had a gunking problem. So, what I want to do is just see if I'm full of shit or, if, you know, the theories on. The cheap juice, some people say, oh, they're gunking on my coils. I've heard people say, you got each juice fucks up your coils. I've read it online and blogs and shit. But never had a problem with it. I want to see if I'm crazy and if my vaping at lower wattage, you know, and as long as it's flavor, I'm not going to vape lower wattage and not have flavor. I try to find the sweet spot on where I'm getting the best flavor in a decent cloud. And that's different on every tank and every person's flavor profile. So I just want to rip these apart. We'll see what's inside. If the cotton is clean, then that means you got each juice is uh, is gonna always be in my in my fucking roster because if it's not that gunked up and I put that much juice to it, just reinforces you know the the commitment I have in buying juice from that company still. So and I've put through a lot of you got each juice, so I'd be very pissed off if I see a fully gunked up coil. But I doubt it because I'm not tasting it. So I'm gonna gonna set this up so we can uh, get up close and you guys can see for yourself what the coils look like and what the cotton looks like. Alright guys, so uh, since I've been having such a, a bromance with the TFV8, I actually remembered finally to save one of these coils and we're gonna do a Cleto to just for shits and giggles. But this coil has had about, this has had way over 160 mils of juice to it, way over. That's being very conservative. So I want to see what it looks like inside, how the cotton's held up. So let's rip, start ripping this apart. That's the well that always gets sweaty on me. But hey, it doesn't look bad for that much juice going through it. There's your all-important O-ring. There's the leads from the coil. Well, let's see if I can wiggle this out. I'm not too concerned with what the coil looks like. You'll be able to see burn marks no matter what. Oh, here it comes. Let's see. Let's see what this shit looks like. That's the inner coil. It's actually not bad. A little burnt, but uh, nothing major. Same thing on here. You got a little burnt, a little gook on the inside coil. You can see that a little bit. That's hard to see. There's not really that much gook on it. Not as much as I thought it would be there. But you got a little gook. So let's see if I can gently pry out this cotton. Well, not a fucking thing. That's what happens when you're vaping it at like 15 below the recommended minimum. So, you got two sheets. There's barely any burning inside. That's a that's a damn good sign. And you have a little more on the inside. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get to that. You have a second layer. I don't know if I could even... There's going to be a way to push this apart. Let me see. Let me get my trusty... It doesn't matter anyway. I mean, it's it's pretty. It's in good shape. It's in remarkably good shape. But you can see inside. Well, kinda. It's gonna be hard to see inside. There's no burning there. Oh fuck! You get that extra layer on there. Well, however they did it, they did it. 
and uh, there's almost no burning. So for that's the uh, this is the excess of that much that much runtime. That's really not bad at all. It's got a little browning on the uh, two inside wires right here, but and that's what makes it the uh, the quad because uh, you got these four wires right here. So that actually looks impressively good. So let's fucking rip apart a Cleto. This thing I've been using for about ten days, so I don't know how much juice I put through this. I don't use it as much as the other ones. Let's see. See if I could gently, gently push out this cotton. This is easier to get out than that one. Let's see. No. Oh, she doesn't want to come willingly. I say we nudge her along. Oh yeah. Let's see. It's not too, it's not so bad. Get a similar burn pattern. Which isn't that bad considering I use these both uh, quite a bit. So let's see. It'd be hard to push that out. There we go. Let's see if I could. I'm not worried about getting it out intact. You can be able to see burning no matter what. This doesn't have a little browning, but no burning. You got and your wick channel's just got a little extra cotton in there. Wick channel's fine. No burning. No burn. No burning. So it's not too bad. Pretty well made coils. That's why they last so long on me. But that's about the extent of the burning in the Cleto. It's gonna be hard to see. It's not gonna want to focus in, but that's it. That's as burnt as it gets. I run these low, and the reason I burn them low is because when you, I run them, you know, I'm running the Cleto, it's 40 to 60, I'm running at 45. It's just a good flavor level, good vape level. You know, I like to preserve the taste in that. This just makes too much goddamn smoke. So I'm running, I got the V6 in there now, I'm running that at about 100. I think the minimum recommended is 110 on it and the new six I put in has been silky smooth so that's all I wanted to do guys to show the inside of some of these coils after you use them for that long even the, the wicking paper on this is nice it's there's no uh, there's no burn that's why I run them a little low yeah it's you can see it pays off that's why I get no fucking uh, I get no degradation of the juice flavor and the coils just eventually burn themselves out so, thanks for watching, and that's my recommendation for vaping a little lower than the recommended. So that was some pleasant findings. I didn't expect the wire to be that non-gunky, and I did not expect the cotton to be that clean after that amount of use. So the Kalitos, I think I can I could squeeze another four days out of them and change them every two weeks so easily. I mean, it's I'm not doing anything to it. The way I'm vaping and the juice I'm using seem to be, you know, the right way to for coils. And the, uh, the TFV, uh, I was fucking shocked that I used it that much and for that long, and it looked that, that good. Is that something you guys might want to consider doing in the future? Just double check and see in, uh, one of your coils pull them apart to see if, uh, you know, if you're, you have questions about your juice, you have questions about your vape habits. It seems like this tells, tells you a lot, you know, uh. For my style of vaping, I'm pretty pretty easy on the coils, I guess. You know, I don't abuse them too much, and, uh, you know, I never let that fill get too low, so it, it never has a problem wicking. So, uh, I don't even know if anybody's going to watch this, but it just satisfied my curiosity. So, uh, if you did watch it, thank you. And uh, thanks if you already subscribed. Thank you very much. And I'll, uh, I got I got juice reviews and tank reviews coming up. I'm not sure which is going to be first, but uh, probably tank review. The, uh... The Kangoo, or whatever the hell it is by uh, Kangatech. The Pangu, I don't know what the hell the name of it is. So uh, take it easy, guys.